morning, Avon. I'm Maria Perez. And I'm Anaya Smith. Thank you for watching the Oreo Report. We begin with our top story. The Center for Disease and Control says this is officially a record-breaking flu season. There have been 21 weeks of elaborated flu activity in the U.S. so far this flu season. That's one week longer than the previous 10-year high, which was 2014-2015 season. Typically, the flu season starts in the fall and ends around in the spring. At least 36 million cases of the flu have been reported this season, but hopefully we're towards the end of it. Now let's check in with Connor for our local forecast. Thanks, guys. Today we will have morning rain showers. The high temperature is 65 degrees with a low of 50. Tomorrow will be cloudy. The high temperature is 68 with a low of 51. Friday we will kick off the weekend with sunny skies. The high will be 68 with a low of 44. And Saturday, as we look at our weather for carnival for a, ca for a cause, there is a chance for rain in the evening. The high temperature is 66 with a low of 51. We will continue to keep an eye on the timing of that rain. Back to you. Have you heard? There's a new history club at our high school. We caught up with the president to learn more about it ahead of the next meeting, which is today after school. History. History. Avon is writing its own history. In the past couple years, Avon has been on a run to create as many new groups accommodating to its students' needs. In this expansion, the History Club was birthed. We've interviewed a couple of its leaders to give you a deeper insight. Take a look. Um, our club is called the History Club, and um, by, if you mean by join, I created it with the teacher, Ms. Seaver. Um, and uh, we just had our first meeting uh, last Wednesday, uh, the 10th, yeah, the 10th. There are several activities that happen in the History Club. Uh, some of the activities that go on during this club. Well, first of all, we talk about the history at hand, whatever the, our topic is about, and then I always try to come up with some activities that relate to that history and um, I tried to come up with videos that we can watch related to that history as well. Being only a sophomore, we were curious on what inspired him to take on such a major role in creating the club. So what inspired me to create the club was I slowly started to realize that very few people know a lot about history. And the sad part was that something that happened less than a hundred years ago, like World War II, people can't even tell me who fought in it. And I think that is just horribly wrong. You can't tell me that the USSR, France, Britain, America, and many other countries teamed up to beat Germany, Italy, Japan, and you cannot tell me anything about the Holocaust, you can't tell me anything like that, you don't know what's gone on in history. That just saddened me, and I couldn't really get many things done with the school to get more students to learn about this, so I decided that History Club was the way to go. What, we, well, what we've gone over so far in the History Club is we've gone over the Christmas Truce of 1914, in which the Allies and the Central Powers came together on the Western Front and made a kind of a truce where they stopped fighting for December 24th, 25th, and almost all the way up to New Year's in certain parts of the front. And it showed the kindness of humans and that the machines of war are not all there is. Um, I expect students to spread the knowledge and help other people learn about history. I think it's a shame that we don't know as much as we really should. The next meeting for the History Club is at A112, Miss Seaver's room, it might be A111, um, but it will be Wednesday the 24th, uh, and for our next topic we will be talking about um, Elizabeth of Hungary and Vlad the Impaler, both very sadistic and who like to torture people a lot. Wow. The History Club will be having a meeting tonight, hopefully we'll see you there. For HS News, I'm Katrina Dickens. On the lunch menu today, in the home style line, we have French toast sticks, pork sausage patty, and tri taters. International line has sweet Asian chicken, general taiso chicken, brown rice, 
steamed broccoli. Finally, Grab and Go line has Asian salad, ham and cheese bagel sandwich, protein bots, yogurt meal, cheeseburger on a bun, and PBJ on Crestables. You can spend part of your weekend at the theater. The Avon Thespian Troupe is presenting their spring plays, both versions of The Odd Couple. The female version is tomorrow and Saturday at 7 p.m., while the male version is at 7 and set Friday at 7 and Sunday at 3. Tickets cost $7. Now let's check in with Chris Pearson for more details and hear from Ms. Spires. I heard that Avon High School is putting on a spring production. Let's go check it out. So we're actually putting on two productions this spring. Um, the first is The Odd Couple, the original play that's by Neil Simon. And then the second production is actually an adaptation. Um, Neil Simon wrote a different version of The Odd Couple, female version. So it's basically the same story, but flipping the gender so it's two different plays, but roughly the same storyline. So for this one, I'm going back to more of a traditional theater set. It's called a box set, where it's just the back wall and two side walls. Um, the whole thing takes place in just an apartment. So we're doing more of a traditional style of theater and movement and acting. <laughs> yes, I think we have two really great casts of actors that have a wide range of experience, people that you've seen before and some you may not have seen as much before. So it's a good range of people, especially this year, for our talent that we have. Um, please come support your peers. The show is at the end of April. Um, it's April 25th through 28th. So the female version is Thursday night and Saturday night. And the male version is going to be Friday night and a Sunday matinee. All right. Thank you. Um, to prepare for my audition, I started a couple weeks beforehand. And I found a monologue that was a comedic monologue that was between um, about a minute to a minute and a half long. And I just practiced that a lot and got ready to perform it for the audition. The main difference between the two is probably, oh, I don't know. I think they're two, they're two just very different. Um, they have their own separate problems in each one. Um, they're both going through divorce and they're still like two of the very same characters. But throughout, there's just little minor differences that are thrown in there and everything. But they have the same uh, overall story arc. So, yeah. Uh, so I found my monologue on my own. It was actually from a play that I was in originally. It was called uh, uh, Ten Ways to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. And I took the one that was from me and my friend's character and I just spliced them into one. He's super carefree. He is really not living the best life, but he lives it to its fullest. He has gone through a divorce and he lost his kids and he lives in a really big dirty house by himself but he loves every second of it and he loves his friends and he just, he makes the most of the, the crap that he was given. My character is Gwendolyn Pigeon and she goes on a date with, the, with Oscar and Felix and she's definitely a very ditzy character and she's there to have a good time. My character um, is a lot like me, which is a little disturbing because I realized how mean she was. Uh, it's a lot of sarcastic humor and being a little bit too much a lot, but nothing compared to the uh, Florence, who is my uh, basically partner in crime for the whole show, who's basically the epitome of everything uh, over the top. Sounds like a fun time. Make sure to come check out The Odd Couple. For AHS News, I'm Chris Pearson. Congrats to the PLTW Biomedical Science students and Avon hosted chapter members who were at the Indiana State Host and Leadership Conference. Many of our students were finalists and advanced in the international competition in Orlando, Florida. Don't forget, you can get your senior DVD this week only during lunch in the ALC cafeteria for $20 cash or check. These are pre-sales only. That's all for your report. Have an awesome day, Avon.